Hey guys, um, today we're going to be learning how to set up your 3x3 with just silicone lube. Silicone lube is a very good lube. It works well on most puzzles and even works better on big puzzles. Um, silicone lube isn't cheap, but it's, um, not that expensive. Um, I'm using the Cubicle Wheat 5 silicone lube. You could use Traxxas or any other, uh, weight lube, like weight 1, weight 2, weight 3, weight 4. Weight 5 you would have to use the least because it's the heaviest. So... Let's get started. So, this is a method I used to just set up with uh, silicone lube. It's back in the days when I just had silicone lube. Um, so, I mean, a lot of people don't have enough money to afford the other lube. So, I thought I would make a video about how to set this up. Um, so, first of all, clean out your cube, um, I'm not going to include that in this video, but basically you just have to take out the, all of the edges and the corners, and, um, and just, just wipe out all access lube that's on it. Um, I will be making up, uh, making a tutorial of how to set up your, um, not set up, um, clean out your cube, because that's a really important step. So, now you're just kind of, oh, just disassemble your cube. So here's my screwdriver. I'm going to pop off all the caps, because this is kind of tight right now. And... If you're trying to take out the pieces and they feel like you have too much resistance, you need to loosen it so you won't break a piece. Once you disassemble your cube, organize them into pieces, so edges with edges. Corners with corners. Once you've done that, put them aside. Make sure they don't get mixed up. Now time for the core. Now the core is very important. This is where you can loosen or make the tensions tighter. So I take off all the caps. And, um... make the tensions so that there are three threads in the screw so I'll show you what that means in just a second what this means is that you will see three threads on the screw so just do that for all sides. Once you make sure that all the tensions are even, put back the center tabs on. Make sure the color scheme is right. Now you would have white opposite yellow. white opposite yellow, blue opposite green, and the last two centers you have to match the placement. Just take take um, the core and put the white side to your left. Now as you rotate you'll see blue, 
and then if you rotate this way, blue after blue should come orange. Then, it, then after orange it comes green. Then after that it comes red. Now your court is complete. Take your corners and edges, assemble your 3x3 three three again, and leave out only two edges and one corner. For assembling 3x3s, three three, it will be most easy to work in blocks. So put an edge in first, then put in another edge to its left or right. So get the blue, I mean the yellow and green piece. And do this. Now put in the correct corner and make these kind of blocks. These blocks are very essential and make assembling a 3x3 way easier. Once you finish what in CFOP you would call F2L, you put one more edge in. This should be fairly easy. If, you loose, if it feels too tight, then you might have to loosen it. Now take the corresponding corner, snuck it in, and make a block again. A one by two block. And put two more pieces in. Um, just this two corners and just leave this much out. So make sort of a W and leave two edges and a corner out. This is where we lube. I'm gonna be using weight 5 and just take off the cap and this should be mostly used for the track so just put mostly on track. Don't put too much because if it gets gummy you have to clean it out again and that, that's a lot of work. Um, just do the tracks, don't do the pieces because uh, the tracks are more important. Don't do this space. Um, just put a little bit because you could always add more, but the cleaning out takes a lot of time. Okay, now putting it back in. Put the corner, I mean the edge, back into its spot and put the corner in. You should leave you should leave the edge for last because it's easiest if you turn it 45 degrees and just enter it. Okay. Now we have to break in the puzzle. And also Remember to close the cap. Breaking in the puzzle is could be a quite annoying process. You should do some solves to make it fun. So let's do a solve. Okay. Oh no, I lost my cross piece.
after a couple of solves, this should become very, very smooth. Silicone lube will, in the beginning, make it very, very slow and gummy, but eventually it will become smooth. It just, it's just a matter of breaking in.